Yeah, um, I am Christophe De Fanu. I am a energy marketing manager for, for Sumilab. And uh, I work in Sumilab now since a couple of uh, years, since 2008. And I was before another company, a French company. Uh, so now I can introduce you a little about Sumilab. Uh, Sumilab is a, a company doing 100% uh, of meteorology tools, characterization system uh, that uh, can be applied to different kind of uh, domain. Uh, we can show you here. So the first domain that where it is applied is uh, of the photovoltaic industry and, uh, and, uh, and research also. Uh, we have also some lot of uh, uh, tools, a lot of yeah. tools for, for, for the photovoltaic industry like uh, contamination, photoluminescence, resistivity. We have also the defects of visual, visual inspection. Uh, we also uh, do uh, uh, Inline and offline uh, characterization tool for for this industry. And what kind of photovolta photo photovoltaics are we talking we, about? Yeah, we we start. I mean, the company start uh, with a silicon uh, solar cell, the silicon solar cell uh, photovoltaic uh, industry. Uh, started in early 2000 with a. a, a Hand and hand top and, and tabletop system, and now we have uh, completely uh, renewed the, 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 the product portfolio, and we have with, with available this fully automatic system that can uh, you can put the, the, the silicon solar cell here, and at the end you get a, you get a sort of the, of the performance of the solar cell. But now we have also uh, a full bench of product uh, tools also uh, to uh, characterize uh, thin film also like uh, organic, perovskite, uh, heterojunction cells that are here presented in this conference in Thessaloniki, of course. Um, besides this uh, PV uh, industry, we also uh, have a lot of uh, tools from uh, also from the R&D to the industry uh, uh, tools, to the industry for the semiconductor industry. Uh, it means that we uh, manufacture uh, 200 and 300 millimeter uh, platform to address the need of the metrology and carry the tool in a, a microelectronic fab. Besides that, this is today, and this is today, this is our main, our main activity beside the, beside the PV industry, of course. Uh, beside the uh, semi and photovoltaic, we also address the flat panel, flat panel display industry and, 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 and domain. Uh, it is mainly, of course, in, in Asia. In Asia. Um, like China, Korea, and Japan, uh, where this panel, uh, this panel and, and TV are manufactured. So we manufacture very large, very large tools, like this one you have in the picture here, where we have the TV, where the TV are manufactured. And again, we have many different kind of uh, metrology tools that can be installed on this platform. So, so it's a tool that goes in a TV factory? Yeah, exactly. It's a TV or, I mean, they also produce the, 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 the the screen from your phone. I mean, from the phone, from laptop, from the TV. They produce this all this kind of, of, of panel, and we install some uh, characterization platform like that. Uh, to have, uh, we have different metrology on, on the same tool here. And the last part would be is, is of course our research and development uh, um, domain, where we also provide and propose many times of uh, many types of different uh, characterization tools that are more. Uh, for institute, for R&D uh, uh, lab, but also for the research of the, of the, of the industry of this, of this type here, of course. So we have here one of our main instruments for this R&D uh, and R &D, uh, topics. This is spectroscopy ellipsometer, that is a tool that is optical uh, uh, characterization to measure the thin film thickness and optical properties. We have also a FM. Atomic uh, force microscope, we have nano notation, we have eddy current, and we have also mobility, mobility measurement uh, by whole, whole, uh, whole system. That we have here. This is one of the interesting uh, tools that we propose now, which is a high sensitivity parallel dipole line hole measurement system. Uh, this is a quite new uh, system in, in, in our company uh, where we can. Measure the mobility of sheet resistance of carrier type and density of this semiconductor, three-five solar cell, TCU, which is transparent, and organic electronics. 
So what are we looking at there? What are these things? Oh, this is just a tool. I mean, this is a computer. Of course, this is a system. This system is here. You have the. You can op just open the cover and put a, and put a sample here. And this is a quite interesting tool because we can really give a very interesting information on this uh, brand new material like for organic electronics and perovskite, for example. So this is quite quite interesting one. So what are people able to get? Like what kind of information? What is it useful for them uh, to do? It's mainly mainly done for mobility and heat resistance and carrier type and density. Carrier type and density of this of this, of this, of this material here. Uh, because now in perovskite, in organics, in TCO, we are not using any more silicon as we used to do for the transistor or for the solar cell. So we use very special material that we need to characterize, and this this material have have different characteristics like in mobility and heat resistance. So it is more challenging to, 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 to characterize and to measure this, uh, this parameter. So we need to use brand new equipment and to develop new options and new features to be able to, to measure this kind of, uh, of, uh, of material. And this is quite challenging to do that. Yeah. And that's one. And uh, what more you can talk about there? Yeah, we can talk about this one because this one is also interesting. We, we propose a really large uh, um, um, number of solutions and features to measure uh, this whole to roll process and sheet to sheet uh, process. We are here in a, in a perovskite organic and, uh, and uh, conference here in Thessaloniki. So this is exactly the topic of the conference. We, we can characterize OPV, the organic PV, organic TFT, the LED, lighting and sensor, which are made by organic again, like I show you for the, for the, for the mobility. And we propose a quite nice uh, large uh, number of tools like uh, electrometry that we have just talked about, the sheet resistance, all effect, armor and photolimistance, and imaging of photometer. And this can be applied to the roll to roll. I mean, you have the, the, the roll is rolling here on the, this is an OPV, it's organic PV uh, uh, solar cell, and you can measure directly here on the roll here, or you can measure on a sheet to sheet here. This is a flexible, this is a flexible sheet of, uh, made of plastic. And on the top here, you have some organic transistor, and you can measure the sheet resistance or the, the thickness here. So we can propose different platforms. This is all to all one. This is a, a, a mid-sized mid -size platform to handle a, a 300 by 400 millimeter uh, substrate up to much larger one. So we can really cover from the R&D to the pilot line and, uh, and the industry also. Uh, so do you have customers in all kinds of segments of the industry? Yeah, we have customers in all kinds of kind of industry. So if you can show here, just, just sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is a map, this is a map where we have our implementation. So you see the, the company, is from, I forgot to tell you that the company is from Budapest. It is, a, it is a, the, main, the, head, the headquarter of the company is located in Budapest in Hungary. Uh, we have quite nice number of people in, 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 in Europe, but we have a lot of uh, people also in Asia where we address the industry and the customer for semiconductor, for the flat panel, or for the PV also. In China, there was also a lot of uh, Chinese uh, customers working on PV. And we have also some companies in USA, like in Boston and, and Lehighton and Tampa, where we manufacture also some tools and we distribute and also address some the customer from, uh, from, from USA here. And I would say the industry for semiconductor is spread between Asia and, and USA. The PV is still a little more in, in Asia also. But I have to say that for the organic and perovskite and this plastic electronics, uh, Europe is quite well placed and we will have a quite nice uh, bench number of customers in, in Europe also for, for this. Uh, Everybody wants to do PV. Yeah, because this energy is the biggest priority right now. P yeah, yeah. I mean, today we share, I mean, as I told you, the main market is still semiconductor for us, but we, we always, always try to push the people who are doing PV and try to develop a new, uh, new type of PV, of course, yeah, because we, we, we know that uh, the, future, the future is PV, but we also, but we also want to the market for us with that we try to develop also. So you do R&D? We do R&D. You don't we just provide the machine for no, other people we, to do yeah, R&D? We have a lot, a lot of people trying to to develop new new equipment, new tools every year we develop and, and release new equipment, new options. It is really we have a lot of people doing that. From the from the hardware, software, optical, we have optical lab to, to develop our, our new new uh, head, measurement head, uh, we have software of course hardware, this is quite large company doing that, yeah. So if you can uh, if you can invent new kind of PV that uses your tools then you sell more tools. Sure. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. But we always find some uh, application. You see this one, this tool, if you can show, 
This tool was used before, which is a photoluminescence tool for wafer and cell expansion. So it was used only for silicon solar cell before. This, is, this was a, 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 like, like this on the standalone tool, we put the wafer here, and this was just a defect inspection of silicon solar cell. And now, now we use exactly the same techniques on the, on the organic, on the organic uh, PV to measure the defect on the organic roll-to-roll, -roll, on roll-to-roll. -roll. This is what we have installed here in Thessaloniki, uh, inside the Real Nano European project. Uh, we have installed one of these tools, which is one line, when, when we follow, we measure one line on, on the roll, and the roll is moving, and then we measure one line in real time, and then we can show, we can give some information on the effect. Here it is the wafer, but you can do kilometer and kilometer of, of image of, uh, on the roll to roll of, uh, of OPV. When you do this kind of uh, measurements, I guess it's important to to not be impeding in the process speed and everything. You want everything to be smooth and fast and, yeah. and not slow down anything. Yeah, sure. We need, we need to, to have the same speed as the process, in fact. When the roll is moving, we need to be able to acquire, give the image and uh, give the possibility to the computer and, and, uh, and the software to analyze and to give the feedback of the, of the result because if the, if, the one, if the one part of the roll on the, the solar cell is bad, we need to be able to adjust and give some information. But now, as you guess, everything is linked. I mean, we link our tool to our main computer, we link our tool to another tool, and all the information are coming together on the, on the host. This all information are, are managed and analyzed by one computer, and then you can decide if it stop the process, if I just process or, or, or still go. And so I, I guess it means you have hardware acceleration, you have fast, yeah. performance in there yeah sometimes. we need we need to we need to have very fast performance on um, I can show you just to, 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 to this tool yeah. here you see on one of these tool here we, we could yeah. yeah we could analyze five five thousand seven hundred wafer per hour oh, so that, that sounds like a lot that's that lot that's that lot five more five thousand it is two two wafer per second and what are the wafers? What do they have on them? This is a solar cell, silicon solar, solar cell. cell. Yeah, solar cell. Yeah, solar cell. So we need to be very, very fast. Everything is going so fast on the, on the belt here. You see on the belt, and then we need to analyze. We need to acquire, analyze, and give information. And at the end, at the end of the belt here, it needs to be sorted. You have the good one, the middle one, and the bad one. That's wow. The, we need to be very fast. That's, that's you're making the quality control. We make quality control and the sorting. But the customer tells us, okay, we want to be able to sort this type of solar cell here. This has to be considered a good one. This has to be considered a middle one. And this is a low, low spec. B and C. Yes, quality. exactly. But the and customer you can sell all three to three different yes, customers. Yes, exactly. Okay. But not we, but the customer. The customer is yeah. yeah. But we just sell a good one. Is it just, a, is this just photos? And microscopes and stuff no, like that. No, this is electrical or is characterization. A whole bunch of different things. This is all bunch of different things. Yes, this is electrical characterization, uh, sickness. I mean, if you have, imagine if you have some scratch here. If the wafer has some scratch here, you see, have some uh, uh, scratch. So this can be completely going to the trash. Okay. If you have some line here by visual inspection, it also goes to the trash. So we need to analyze the performance, the many different things, and at the end, at the end, we need to decide what we are doing or not. What's this machine, for example? For example. Now, this machine is a other tool with an spectroscopy ultrasonometer. So this machine can be used for many different applications. Can be used. Uh, the purpose of this machine is to measure the thickness of the thin film. Uh, for example, uh, when you when you measure when you have thin film solar cell, you have the substrate and then you have many different layers. And this machine is measuring the thickness and optical properties. And uh, the quality, the quality of the solar cell and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the end product is really depending on what you have on, on, on this device. Yeah. So we have uh, this is optical techniques. We send the beam. We send the beam on. We send the beam. Yes, we send the beam on the on the sample. It's reflecting, and then we we can by a change of polarization we can measure the, the properties. Yes. The properties. And actually, you have a uh, yeah a whole bunch of uh, yeah uh, different different products you can show, right? Yeah, sure. This one is a, a middle platform, which is IC2100. This is a middle side platform. Um, you can embed it inside here. You can have different type of measure. You can have a luxometry, you can have a reflectometer, non-contact resistance, and other optical techniques here. Uh, so it means that 
you don't need you don't need to have multiple tools, but you can have all this character, all this methodology ahead on, embedded on the same platform. So you can just move you move the sample under under the, the, the measurement head that you want to use. So you can pass from ellipsometry to sheet resistance. You don't need to, you don't need to go to another another tool. So it is and can be completely automatic. What is a sheet resistance? Sheet resistance. For? Is, yeah, this is a resistance. I mean, you have a. If you want to have your material be very conductive, so very fast, for example, that the electron is going very fast uh, in the material, uh, you need to have a very low sheet resistance. If you have a high sheet resistance, the, 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 the speed of the device is, is very slow. So this is just to, to, to summarize, but this is, yeah. So, uh, and it is linked, it is linked to the mobility, it is linked to all the electrical parameters. But we need, to, we, need, we need to characterize all this picture. Uh, in a solar cell, in, in semiconductor, in all these devices, electronic device, we need to, most of the time, we need to measure the sheet of the material. And when uh, people make new innovative products that use roll to roll and yeah. sheet to sheet and all, all, all that, uh, there is a lot of graduation in terms of the quality. It's not a stable output sometimes. So it's crucial to be able to go in and measure what's good, yep. what's A, B, C. Sure. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we see, as I told you, for the solar cell here, we do also the same thing for, for the semi, uh, for the semiconductor, like for the wafer that you have here, for the platform here. Uh, people are, are measuring on the wafer, on the dial, and they say, okay, this one is good, this one is not good, but here there is no, no level, I would say, like in the solar cell. Here it is good or not. So we say go or not go. This is, a, yeah, this is the way they do for the semiconductor, because the performance cannot be half or not so good. We need, to, we need to have a good or not. I guess your machines are very professional, very kind of like expensive for big labs to buy, universities. Yeah. Or do you also have stuff for startups? Uh, is there a scale, yeah. different things? Yes, we have different things. I just show you. So we have, this one is a, I just show you for this ellipsometer uh, product range. So we have this one is a tabletop one. This one is a tabletop one for university and lab, which is a, I mean, I would say the, the, the low cost tools that we have for, for these techniques. And uh, this one is more the high hand, high hand for the more, uh, um, this is more expensive, but more powerful, of course. And this one is another platform which is even higher hand. Higher hand. Okay, so we see, we, we have really a full bench, a full uh, a product range of, uh, of tools. And this is not only for Ipsometer, we can really show that for all the kind of, uh, of techniques and characterization tools. So for little uh, R&D startups, students, Yep. All the way to mass production. Yes, exactly. All the way to the companies that make billions of things. Exactly, exactly. From the really. You are there. Yeah, from the really. Uh, I mean, tabletop or hand 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 tools to the to the fully automatic one. That's right. And you have a lot of competitors, or you're like the world leader. In no, no, no. We have, we have a lot of we have a lot of competitors, of course. And uh, the thing is that we we have a lot of competitors in every field, of course, in optical characterization, in electrical, in. Uh, Tabletop in R and D and industry, we, have, we need to we need to to compete with a lot of competitors from from everywhere in the world. Yeah, for sure. So that pushes your your R and D department to just keep yes. pushing things forward. Yes, and exactly. Bring new products all the exactly. time. Exactly. That push us to to make even uh, every year better and better. But we also have uh, in Sumila, we also have the the, the the politics to when we want a new technique, we can also buy it. Means that we also buy company where we can uh, buy the company, buy the techniques, and have in in in, in, in the semi lab. So, for example, myself, I'm coming from the small company which was in France, which was Sopra, and we are producing this ellipsometer. And uh, 12 years ago, 14 years ago, semi lab was wanted to diverse its activity. There were electrical characterization metrology equipment, and they wanted to do optical metrology because. Uh, I wanted to have a new a new bench of product, and uh, so they buy our company, and we are now uh, since uh, 14 years embedded in, in, in Semila. All right. Okay. And uh, um, so you have some conversations here with uh, all yeah. kinds of universities, companies. Yeah, we are exchanging with people here. We 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 know the Thessaloniki lab and company here since quite a long time. Uh, we have been. Uh, working with them since a couple of years now, but we, we know the people since quite a long time, yeah. All right. And people can contact you in every country in the world? Yeah, they can contact us everywhere, yeah. They can contact me in, 
in Europe, in France, but of course they can find the, they can, on the website, they can find the, the, the contact of the company uh, from, from every country in the world.